Hello and welcome to this capsule. Have you ever wondered how the moving images on your screen are created and transmitted to your TV? Well, in this video, we will take you through the journey of television broadcasting, and we'll take an in-depth look at the technology behind one of the most ubiquitous and beloved forms of entertainment in the world. So whether you're a tech enthusiast, a home entertainment lover, or just curious about the world of television, sit back and get ready to learn about the amazing technology behind your favorite shows and movies. Before we continue, feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel, which will help us enormously be more successful. Analog and digital broadcasting are two methods of transmitting television signals. Analog broadcasting is the older of the two and uses analog signals to transmit television programming. The analog signals are sent over the airwaves in the form of electromagnetic waves that are picked up by an antenna on the television set. These analog signals are then processed by the television set and transformed into images and sounds. However, analog broadcasting is limited by the quality of the signal, which can be affected by interference and degradation over long distances. Digital broadcasting, on the other hand, uses digital signals to transmit television programming. The digital signals are composed of binary code and are sent over the airwaves in a similar manner to analog signals. The main difference is that digital signals are not subject to degradation or interference like analog signals. Digital broadcasting provides higher quality images and sound compared to analog broadcasting, and it also offers the ability to transmit multiple channels of programming in a single transmission. The digital signals are also processed by the television set, but the images and sound are created using digital to analog conversion, resulting in a much higher quality image and sound than analog broadcasting. Digital broadcasting is also more efficient than analog broadcasting in terms of spectrum usage. A single digital channel can transmit multiple channels of programming, whereas an analog channel can only transmit a single channel. Additionally, digital broadcasting can provide interactive features such as on-demand programming, digital video recording, and internet connectivity, whereas analog broadcasting is limited to basic television programming. Digital broadcasting is the standard for television transmission in most countries and is gradually replacing analog broadcasting as the preferred method for transmitting television signals. Television signals are transmitted from the source to your TV using a variety of methods. In the case of traditional broadcast television, the source of the signal is a television station, which sends the signal over the airwaves using an antenna. The signal is picked up by an antenna on the roof of a home or building and is then sent to the television set through a coaxial cable. For cable television, the signal is transmitted from the cable provider's head end to the cable modem in the subscriber's home. The cable modem then sends the signal to the television set through a coaxial cable. In the case of satellite television, the signal is transmitted from a satellite in geostationary orbit to a dish on the subscriber's roof. The signal is then sent from the dish to the satellite receiver, which sends the signal to the television set through a coaxial cable. In recent years, the rise of internet-based television services, such as streaming video, has changed the way television signals are transmitted to the television set. These services use the internet to transmit the signal from the source to the subscriber's home, where it is then processed by a device such as a smart TV, streaming media player, or gaming console. The signal is then displayed on the television set, allowing the subscriber to watch television programming without the need for a traditional cable or satellite television service. Television technology has come a long way since the days of the cathode ray tube CRT, television. CRT televisions use a cathode ray tube to create and display the images on the screen. A cathode ray tube is a vacuum tube that contains an electron gun that produces a stream of electrons that are focused onto a phosphor-coated screen. The electrons excite the phosphors on the screen, causing them to emit light and create the images. CRT televisions were popular in the past, but they have been largely replaced by more modern technologies, such as liquid crystal displays (LCD) and organic light-emitting diodes (OLED). LCD televisions use a liquid crystal layer between two glass plates to display the images. The liquid crystal layer is sandwiched between a backlight and a polarizing filter, which controls the amount of light that is transmitted through the liquid crystal layer. 
the liquid crystal layer can be controlled by an electric current to change the orientation of the crystal molecules and allow or block the light from the backlight. This creates the images on the screen. LCD televisions provide a clear and bright image, but they can suffer from viewing angle limitations and slow response times, which can result in ghosting or blurring of fast-moving images. OLED televisions use organic materials to create light, which is emitted from each individual pixel on the screen. This allows for true black levels, as each pixel can be turned on or off independently, and also provides a higher contrast ratio than LCD displays. OLED televisions can also be made thinner and more flexible than LCD displays, and they provide a wider viewing angle and faster response time, which eliminates ghosting and blurring of fast-moving images. However, OLED displays are more expensive to manufacture than LCD displays, and there are also concerns about the long-term stability of the organic materials used in OLED displays. The images on the screen are created using a combination of hardware and software. The hardware includes the television set, the tuner, and the processing circuits that control the display. The software includes the programming that is transmitted to the television set, as well as the operating system and applications that run on the television set. The programming is received by the television set and is processed by the tuner, which converts the signal into a form that can be displayed on the screen. The processing circuits then control the display, adjusting the brightness, contrast, color, and other aspects of the image to provide the best possible viewing experience. The future of television technology is exciting and constantly evolving, with new emerging technologies and advancements in broadcasting. One of the most talked about emerging technologies in the world of television is 8K resolution. 8K resolution offers 4 times the resolution of 4K, and 16 times the resolution of Full HD. This means that the images on the screen are incredibly detailed and offer a more immersive viewing experience. 8K television sets are already available in the market, and as the technology continues to evolve and improve, it is expected that 8K will become the new standard for high-definition television. Another emerging technology in television is foldable displays. Foldable displays allow the screen to be folded and unfolded like a book, making it easier to transport and store the television set. Foldable displays also offer a new form factor for television sets, which can change the way people use and interact with their televisions. These displays are still in the early stages of development, and as the technology improves, it is expected that foldable displays will become more widely available and popular. Advancements in broadcasting are also shaping the future of television. One of the most significant advancements is the use of 5G networks for television transmission. 5G networks offer faster speeds, lower latency, and more bandwidth than current 4G networks, which makes them well-suited for television transmission. With 5G, it will be possible to transmit high-quality television content to mobile devices and other connected devices in real-time. This will revolutionize the way people watch television, as they will be able to watch their favorite shows and movies anywhere, at any time, on any device. Satellite transmission is another advancement in television broadcasting that is shaping the future of television. Satellite transmission provides a reliable and cost-effective way to transmit television signals over long distances, making it possible to reach remote and rural areas that are not served by traditional cable or terrestrial television networks. With the increasing popularity of satellite television, it is expected that satellite transmission will continue to play a significant role in television broadcasting in the future. And that's a wrap on our video. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed learning about how television works. So, don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content. See you in our next capsule.